Target acquired. Hi everybody, this is Agnes from No Sediment and today we're going to talk about one of the most famous Italian wines, Sassicaia. And we are going to taste 2015 vintage, one of the most highly rated vintages of the last 10 years. But before we start, if you like this content, it would mean a lot to me if you liked this video and clicked subscribe to my channel, as it helps me to grow and create better content for you. And if you are new to this channel, welcome! I have been a professional sommelier for more than 15 years and we post weekly videos on all things wine. Let's start! Sassicaia is red wine known to be one of the first Super Tuscan wines released in the early 70s. The legend states that Marchesi Mario in Cesa della Rocchetta saw similarities between the terrain of his wife's estate, San Guido, in Tuscany to that of Graves in Bordeaux. San Guido is located in Bulgari, the coastal part of Tuscany that previously was not famous or rich with tradition of winemaking. In 1940s he experimented with French grape varieties and he realized that Cabernet Sauvignon shines the best here in Tenuta San Guido estate. The first publicly released vintage of Sassicaia was 1968. At that time it was labeled Vino de Tavolo or table wine. It is because grape varieties and winemaking techniques used for making this wine fell outside of the DOC or DOCG regulations. However, because Sassicaia and many other wines that followed in their footsteps exceeded the quality expectations and prices that of a table wine, they were started to be called Super Tuscan wines. It did change though. In 1983, Bulgari received its own DOC status, and in 1994, Bulgari Sassicaia was recognized as a separate subzone. In 2013, Bulgari Sassicaia received its own DOC, and until now, it is the only estate in Italy that has its own DOC status. Sassicaia 1985 received a perfect score. 100 points from Robert Parker, and rest, as they say, is history. Sassicaia now is one of the most famous Italian red wines sought after by many wine enthusiasts and wine collectors. It is a wine legend. Here I have 2015 vintage Sassicaia. It is considered to be warm vintage, yet of highest quality and exceptional fruit condition. It is made of 85% of Cabernet Sauvignon and 15% of Cabernet Franc, and it is aged for 24 months in small French oak barrels. Cheers! I mean, this wine on the nose is so ripe. Cabernet Sauvignon is late ripening grape variety, while Cabernet Franc sometimes brings some green flavors. But this wine shows more like complexity and earthiness and maybe some like hints of savoriness rather than these green flavors. However, when I tasted the wine, the acidity was quite high, like very refreshing and mouth-watering. The tannins were there, they're a lot, but they're very silky and, dare I say, even polished. This wine comes from relatively warm vintage, but it shows great balance and beautiful structure. It has 14 degrees of alcohol, very well integrated. Did I open this wine too soon? I mean, it is 2015 vintage and some books might say that you can age this wine for up to 20 years. I don't think I open it too soon. I mean, for sure, this wine will be great after 10, 15 years, but it is very, very beautiful now and it shows great depth, complexity, richness and freshness 
on the palette, but it is also very, very elegant. And despite its young age, it does not have that robustness or aggressiveness that sometimes is associated with young, powerful wines. You can drink this wine now, and you can drink it after 10 to 20 years. And in both of those situations, you will be very, very satisfied about this bottle. And that's what's so special about Sassicaia. If you also want to know what is so special about Krug Champagne, make sure to watch this video.